So it is officially moving day. We are going to be moving into the studio. We get our keys at half 12. But I have to start packing up this catnip cafe or catnip cottage. <laughs> I have to start packing it all up because I've got so much stuff. Again, we still don't know 100% what we're doing with the cottage. There's a mad rush because I got back from Parma in Spain yesterday. If you want to check out those vlogs, they're on my personal channel. We only have about five days to do this whole entire move because I I'm actually going to be flying back out to Lithuania because Dean is going to be getting the same surgery that I have got, which is gastric bypass. It is time to pack things up and get it moving into the new studio. Okay, let's have one last look at the catnip cottage before we start removing everything from it. And now we need to unpack all the inside. So I'm going to take all the art prints down and put them in a file. Ah, and start removing things. Okay, we should have access to the room now, so I'm going to get the key and we're going to begin moving things in. Where's my keys? Oh, they're in here. Let's go see our new studio. Here it is, room number 30. Should get some nice evening light through those big windows there. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, we're here. I brought a door stop to put it on. Here we go. There's a cross trainer here, she's just picking that up uh, tomorrow. Wow. Look at all these shelves. There's so much. So we officially have the keys to the studio. So now is the task of filling it all up with our stuff and organizing the whole place. Also, she left us this because I asked for this thing. I'm gonna go turn it on. I can't turn it on because I need an extension lead. Oh, I'm excited. This is gonna be our shipping area. It looks great. Well, she even left some cute fairy lights around the shelves. I've got this little pin board and whiteboard, which will be helpful for returns and stuff. And then we've got all this storage. This is gonna be great for post bags. So she used to keep packing peanuts in here. So very exciting. She's left all this for me and all the baskets. Now we just need to move everything in. Let's see outside. I still kind of have a sea view, kind of. <laughs> Not as good as the one we've got now, but. This is where I was thinking of putting my desk. Um, but if we bring the catnip cottage in here, it might really darken the place up, so I can't decide what to do. Cause we could put it in this little recess here and it'd be like a tiny, tiny room, like smaller than what it is now. Um, or we could put it over here, but. I'm not sure really. This is what the other end of the room looks like. So if I stand over here, I've got the window over there. We need to lift these up because I like, I like brightness. And you've just got the light shining in there. I think I'm probably gonna take this film off. As you can see, if I put the catnip cottage up here, I feel like it's really gonna darken the place up and it's also going to um, take up a lot of space. So I don't really know what to do because I do love having the catnip cottage, but oops, oh, the shutter speed is on really low. I do like having the catnip cottage, but it's just, is it gonna be convenient or not? I just don't know. I don't think it will go in this room. <sighs> we need to figure it out. I think we just need to move everything in first. Oh my gosh, I've just spotted a little something on the racking. What is this? Oh, we've got little mini eggs. We've got a little cream egg. Oh, that is so cute. 
Thank you so much. That's the most adorable thing I've ever seen. That's heckin' adorable. Thank you, Nikki. Progress so far. We've got all hands on deck to bring stuff up. Slowly and surely. We're just going to load all the pin shelf. I'll put it here. So this is like a little tiny narrow packing area obviously things might change in the future we don't know uh, but it's mainly mike who's in packaging order so we want everything to hand like stickers and pins so i'm going to do the pins here this is our trusty old pin shell we still stole that chili from b and we've been using it we will take it back after the move i promise so i'm going to sort the pin shell out uh yeah right i'm going to get to work on that The pin shelf is all sorted, but look at all the plushies. This is all the plushy boxes. It takes up the majority of the room. I'm going to have to try and figure a way to conceal them all. What's popping? It's Captain. Here it is with an office moving vlog. This is <laughs> this is what we have managed to do so far. We've got a little shipping and packing area over here. It's nice and cozy and bright. We still have a lot to do. We've got all this. We need to fold the jumpers up. And <laughs> Mike's on the cross trainer. Uh, and look, there's just stuff everywhere. <laughs> we still got a lot to do in this room. Uh, there's still loads from upstairs that need to bring downstairs. But we're going to call it a day today because I am really tired and I have no energy. Obviously, I'm not able to eat loads at the moment. So I'm really, really tired. We're going to call it a day. And I'll see you tomorrow when hopefully we'll, we'll have sorted out a lot more than how it looks right now. Here's a little pan around quickly of what it looks like. See you tomorrow. Before we get any further into the moving vlogs, I wanted to say a huge, huge thank you for a new sponsor today on this channel. Later for sponsoring this video. I was super, super excited when Later reached out to me because I have been using Later for the longest time. Previously, we used it with Baby Blue and it is a brilliant social media marketing platform. And I have switched over to Later since January for catnip for all my social media media scheduling need. The only way that I managed to stay consistent on social media was thanks to Later. Later is an all-in-one social marketing platform that supports you as you grow your business to reach new audiences. I use Later to schedule my social media across Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter and I just love it. It's made scheduling my content easy and simple with hashtag suggestions, saved hashtags, time slots and so much more. I really genuinely love this platform and can't imagine me shifting anytime soon. Beyond their amazing product, Litter actually is known for their incredible blog where they give you the scoop on the latest social media how-tos and educational articles like this one. Instagram Reels in 2022, the ultimate guide. Everything you've ever wanted to know about Instagram Reels all wrapped up into one information pack guide. So thank you so, so much later for helping me stay on top of my social media marketing game. If you want to dip your little tootsies into the world of social media marketing and you don't know where to start, I would highly recommend checking out Later's blog. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to go and check it out. Now let's get back into the moving vlog, shall we? Oh my gosh, good morning guys. Look at this glorious sunshine coming into the studio some actual sunlight sunshine it comes through from the center bit here uh, but look at that the kitchen is right next to the studio so how handy is that another thing that i absolutely love 
is this window here behind me is a bit of a sea view and then red car town um but it lets in this beautiful sea breeze and you can hear all the seagulls it reminds me of going on holiday because i used to have a caravan when i was growing up in primrose valley and you could always hear like the seagulls and seagulls remind me of home because i've always lived by the sea and i always used to go on holiday by the sea and you can hear them all and we can have like a lovely breeze which goes to my desk i'm actually thinking of putting like you guys recommended on the last vlog sorry oh god i'm a terrible youtuber i'm sorry about that i was thinking of putting the facade of the catnip cafe against this wall here because in this corner is where my desk is going to be right next to the window is where my desk is actually going to be so i could put the catnip facade here it'd be slightly raised from the wall People of suggestions said put the characters behind the windows and then i could also run some led lights behind the cottage so it looks like someone's in the cottage uh, kind of like what I did what I wanted to do with the town mural I could have it there so I think that's what I might do and I might actually paint the catnip cafe pink rather than yellow um, but I'm not sure yet because on this side of the wall over here is going to be even more shelves uh, which is absolutely great because i actually don't think we're going to fill all of these shelves in the studio at the moment but that is great news because it means we can expand there's so much storage here we've managed to fit all of our plushies on the top of the shelves and everything so it means we can expand our products we've got lots more coming through also i'm wearing the exact same clothes as yesterday and the same hairstyle is the next day and the first thing i did this morning was spilt coffee down my top. Dean's actually set this work top bench up so we've got a middle island section um, and we set this up here but I don't think this is going to be a good solution to be honest because we don't have a walkway to get to this section. Yeah, I have such a good vibe about this studio I really really love it. This is a cozy little catnip shipping nook. Mike is the one who mainly fulfills the orders so he said he would like to be in this area here but sometimes there is multiple people packaging orders at one time so we thought of a solution. We have these two benches here because all the plushies and kind of like our jumpers and the beanies are kind of going on here but we can use these benches as shipping areas as well and we'll probably have another Mac here where someone can do the orders but what will probably have to happen uh, we get a little basket we print off the orders and then that person gets a basket and goes around and fulfills the stuff but for now uh, there's normally just one person on the order at any one time oh we've got new stickers as well coming in that i need to unbox and show you guys they're so heckin' cute uh you will have seen these me making these on the last vlog they've just arrived Anyway, I am super happy, as you can probably see, about the studio. I feel like I always was a bit uncertain about the big studio. And you probably can go back in my vlogs and see that. I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm making the right thing. It's a bit too big. It's a bit too expensive. But a, a lot of my team, like Mike and everyone, encouraged me to do it. So I thought, you know what? There's no harm in trying this big studio and seeing if it works. But right from the get-go... I never really liked it if I'm being totally honest and the money didn't sit well with me I was like this is a lot of money to pay for something that I didn't feel we needed just yet maybe in the future when Catnip grows even bigger and bigger and bigger but especially during this year where sales have all gone down uh, this week's been horrendous because there's an Etsy strike going on but I rely on Etsy I don't know I feel like this sits really well with me I feel like it's the perfect size for catnip I feel like we've still got room to bring lots more new products in which is what we want to do and it's just a really comfortable space you can comfortably fit about six members of staff in here I would say I'm gonna put some music on and get to work on organizing everything <laughs>
Hi guys! We went spontaneously live on Instagram and TikTok. We did TikTok too. Hey, I've literally been going live so much lately. Let me know if you like these live streams. They are fun to do. But hi, you're on the vlog, the official vlog on the YouTube channel. <laughs> Ta da! We finished stocking the shelf. I need some string or bungee cords because Gingy keeps being sneaky, sticking his toes out, trying to escape from the shelf. He keeps plopping on my head. Um, also, this is the back stock for the beanies fit perfectly into this tub like this is every single beanie so we've got two rows here two rows here and then th there he goes again gingy stop it you meant to go there i know you want to go traveling but this is your home for now until someone adopts you okay kiki i'm watching you look at this little cheeky guy sticking his toe out trying to escape he's laughing at me from behind the thing anyway how satisfying is that? The whole back stock tub, that's everything, fits right flush to the top. Also, we were laughing on the live stream about the trolley. I promise, I'm gonna take it back being an MLK. I promise, promise, promise. It's just that it was really handy to move into the studio, so I've still got it. <laughs> oh my God, we need a celebratory party for when I finally return the trolley. It's just borrowed, it's not stolen, I swear. Please don't arrest me. Just set up my desk in this corner of the room. Ta da! This is what it looks like. We're thinking of putting the catnip cottage here. The lights are broke in the studio. Yeah, it's a little strange. The lights are off in the studio at the minute. There's some guys fixing the aircon in, so I don't know if it's something to do with that. So I'm currently working in the dark. It's my final day at work today. I did a special Easter weekend vlog over on Patreon and did some organising on the studio. If you want to go check that out, it is available for the popcorn pal tier. Um, it was a super fun vlog. I also did like this little birthday party thing. I really, really enjoyed it. Anyway, so I spent the weekend the bank holiday weekend with my patrons in that exclusive vlog um so today we need to get this arranged and we need to finish up tidying up now i'm probably not going to get it all done because tomorrow i'm flying to lithuania the main priority is to get everything plugged in so that mike can fulfill orders while we're away that is for baby blue my second business and for catnip I've arranged all this section which looks really great this has got all the catnip products in so this is going to be Mike's shipping desk and it's all like neatly neatly arranged over here washi tapes we've got our stickers look how cute our index tabs look they're so cute it looks so so pretty content sit down and organized it it's looking very good and then this is the washi tapes that I've done so originally they were in like these tubs and I'd open the front bit I collapsed the front bit down but what I found was I couldn't actually stack two on top of each other so I could get much more in these magazine files and I just cut them to size so that they perfectly fit the shelves and these are just from Ikea if anyone knows and then on the front I just put all of the washi tapes on the front i must be stressed as well because i've developed an ulcer on the inside of my mouth and i haven't had an ulcer for ages so it must be my body's way of being like slow down because it's been a very busy week very very busy luckily we had a week relaxing in parma beforehand because god knows what it would be like if i didn't i can't wait to get into like a nice routine again because everything at the moment is just all over the place and i think when you move in and things are like chaotic everywhere it makes your mind chaotic at least that's what it's like i've got pure chaotic energy right now 
I need more coffee. The lights are back on. Yay. Okay, we are done for today, I think. Uh, we've tidied up everywhere. My desk is still over here. We've still got loads of organising to do, but we've plugged everything in so Mike should be able to package the orders while we're away. This is the printing area. This is the manufacturing area where we print our mouse mats, coasters, and our mugs. Over here is our shipping uh, Mac. There's some orders that Mike fulfilled yesterday and we have our postal scales here and then around here is obviously the catnip shells which hopefully yes time will be full to the brim with amazing catnip goodies anyway i think i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you really enjoyed it and stay tuned for part three of the moving vlogs but there will be a vlog in between that there may be a vlog in between that i don't know if there's going to be or not i hope you've been enjoying these moving vlogs there's lots more to do get the catnip cottage down but i'll see you in the next one for that where we'll be organizing everything but first of all i gotta take a flight to lithuania all right then thanks so much for watching i love you goodbye